What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video We're gonna be checking out the Transformers Legacy Evolution Junkion Combiner Junkosaurus Now this has been a video which I have been so excited to finally put together Because these Junkions I think are some of the best figures that we've so far seen released for Transformers Legacy So for this combination you will need one scrap hook, two crash bar, one axle grease and then finally one trash master Now before we get stuck into the combination process it is worth mentioning to take this video as a rough guide because at the time of this recording Hasbro has not yet revealed official instructions on how these guys should be put together although from messing around with them myself I do have a pretty good idea of how the robot mode of the combined form should look so with all that being said let's get cracking so to get things moving for this crazy combiner, first of all you're going to want to grab yourselves one axle grease. We can then come here to the back of the truck, completely detach this hook and then take the triple exhaust and also remove these. Although keep them close by as these do become the sides of the combined mode's head. So do the same here for this side, we can then take this whole rear piece and also completely remove this section. You'll then want to come here to the underside, grab what were originally her robot mode hill spurs and bring the entire front end of the truck all the way forwards just like this and then for a finishing touch come here to the back of the truck and bring this forwards until it will click no more and that is one combined leg fully assembled we can then basically do exactly the same here for scrap hook so take the spiked shield wriggle this piece off take this section detach this also and the same can be said here for these triple exhausts you'll then want to come here to the underside bring the entire front end of the truck all the way forwards and for a finishing touch bring this piece here all the way forwards and now we have two combined legs fully assembled the next step would then to be bring in one crash bar. Now, everything I showcase for this part repeats twice because both of the combined modes arms are basically identical to one another. So first of all, take his exhaust pipes, set these here off to the side, although keep them close by because much like Axle Grease's exhausts, these do become a part of the combined modes head. So do the same here for this side. We can then take these massive metallic steel saddle sacks, remove them completely, but again, keep them close by as these are essential for the combination. So do the same here for this side. We can then take the whole front part of the bike, lift this section up and extend this joint all the way forwards until it does click into place. We can then take the front wheel, bring this piece here down and take this front part of the bike and lift this upwards because this cleverly does become the claw of the combined mode, which I thought was pretty cool. We can then flip this basically on its head, rotate here at what was originally the thigh joint of the robot mode and then come here to this back piece, slightly detach it and then rotate this piece here upwards and then find Finally, take the entire torso bring this around and that is one arm fully transformed now because these modulators are all customizable if you don't really like the look of this I imagine you could spice it up yourselves although personally this is a look which I have found to work the best so again repeat the exact same process for the other crash bar and now is where we bring in the big guns, Trash Master. So to kickstart things off with here, you're going to want to take this entire rear piece and completely detach this as this will become the head section of the combined mode. So put this down here for now. What we can then do is take the front portion of the truck and completely detach this and again, set it here off to the side. Make sure that this piece here is loosened. Otherwise, it will cause for quite a few problems in just a second. We can then take these gas cans, bring these here out to the sides, detach the arm away from the legs and then completely remove the legs here away from the thigh joints so you should be left with two individual components exactly like this. So to begin forming the head of Junkasaurus, grab one of the pipes from Crash Bar and another one here from Axle Grease. Just align this port up here with this slot. Bring in the headpiece that came with Trash Master. As you guys can see, here is one that I prepared previously and just slide this here into this side port. And that is the head for Junkasaurus, fully assembled. And then to begin assembling Junkasaurus's torso, take this piece here of Trash Master, take these hydraulic sections, bring these here all the way down, which should allow enough clearance for us to take the gas cans and angle these here out to the sides. The next step would be to then come to the front, take this piece and pull it down. And as you guys can see, we are left with two tabs, which should very nicely slide there into those slots. We can then take this piece, hinge this section here upwards, take the gas cans and fold these here to the back. And then we can bring in our already pre-made Junkasaurus head and these two posts do perfectly align up with these slots so we can just snap that in there and that is the head and the torso of Junkasaurus pretty much fully prepped. 
So the next step would be to then bring in the legs of Trash Master, split these here directly in the middle. We can then bring in one half of the leg and then another one of these saddle sacks from Crash Bar. And I absolutely love this because the distance between these two ports perfectly lines up here with these posts. So just snap that there into place and basically do the exact same for the second set so that you are left with two pieces which should look exactly like this. Now is where we can bring in both of the legs that we created previously and what's going to happen here is on the back of these legs are of course basically the thighs of Trash Master. So we get a 5mm post here which should slide perfectly into this port here on what was originally the rear piece of Axel Grease. So as you guys can see that's how that should be looking and then we do the exact same here for Scrap Hook so snap that in nice and securely. We can then bring in the torso of Junkasaurus and as we bring one of these legs back in, as you guys can see we have this massive post on the side which really and truly can slide into any of these ports. Personally, I think it works best here with the top one so snap that there into place and do the exact same here for this side. So at the moment, I'm pretty certain you guys can all roughly see how this is turning out. We can now prep the arms for combination, so basically just flip this section here up and slide this piece here upwards like that. I think this works best personally, but again, if you guys are not too happy with the look of this, then there are a whole host of other ways in how you can kind of configure this. The next step would then to be bring in the torso and the legs because what we're going to do here is remove these hydraulic pieces. Personally, I find this to make attaching the arms a little easier, so do the exact same here for this side. We can then get the body out of the way bring the arms and that hydraulic piece in and you are kind of sport for choice because you can use either of these ports. Personally I find this one here to work a little better so attach this section in there nice and securely and do the exact same for the opposite arm. We can then bring in both the torso and the arm of our combiner and that big old port is going to slide itself into that slot so just snap that section in there, do the exact same on the opposite side and bang! Once you have combined all five Junkions, here we have Legacy Junkasaurus. And this guy looks fantastic, you know, there really is no doubt about it. In terms of a combiner, I think this is one of the coolest designs that Hasbro have cooked up for quite some time. Although it really does seem like an afterthought and most definitely like a bonus mode that you can have if you decide to collect all of these Junkions. Because whilst this guy does look superb, unfortunately it is nowhere near as sturdy as some of the more recent combiners and to be fair not even those that we saw from the combiner wars line because the second you tap this guy on his shoulder or on his head he does just like simply flop and smack himself onto the ground you know it really does seem like this was an afterthought you know maybe they decided to scramble something together after they saw collectors kind of speculate that these junkions were going to form some kind of combiner because this most definitely is a display piece and i would only recommend assembling this into junkosaurus if you are after a cool display piece because because in terms of something which you can mess around with, unfortunately, I apologise for the pun, but he really does become a hunk of junk. I mean, the legs take no force at all to detach, the arms and the whole torso do appear to be a little too top-heavy for the leg joint. So, yeah, whilst he looks cool, unfortunately, he really doesn't feel too great, which is a shame, because there is a lot of articulation here. I mean, the jaw is articulated, considering all of the joints that we have packed into Crash Bar, you know, you can move these arms and these claws around in many different ways, and the legs would kick forwards and you know you could bend the toe pivot but unfortunately as I said you know these legs love to pop off so yeah not too clever it would have been amazing had they designed this guy to look as cool as he does yet still be as stable as some of the more recent combiners such as Volcanicus and Menasaur and you are also left with quite a few additional parts so you can customize this guy up you know you can kind of make him look asymmetrical personally I like to display him on all fours to kind of throw it back to the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator because not only is he way more stable on all fours but he also looks pretty cool you know I can imagine this thing kind of assembling on the battlefield and crawling into battle so yeah that's pretty sweet but I hope somewhere down the line we can get something which looks as distinctive and as awesome as this Junkasaurus but is still as stable as some of the more recent combiners because yeah it is definitely a pretty sick idea. 
Now as we check out a few comparisons for Junkosaurus, here he is stacked up alongside the most recent combiner, that being Legacy Core Class Volcanicus. And as you guys can see, he's a unit. I mean, he's a pretty big looking figure. It is just a shame that he doesn't hold together nowhere near as well as even this Core Class figure, because if it had, I would have no doubt in saying that this is a better looking combiner when in comparison here to this Dinobot one. Here is how he fares alongside the likes of the Earthrise Optimus Primes. Here he is with the Studio Series 86 Ironhide. Here is the Legacy Evolution Toe Line. And then finally, here we have both Core Optimus and Core Megatron. And personally, I find that Core Class, just in general, works better with the likes of Combiners and Titans. Because when I think of a Transformer Combiner or a Transformer Titan figure, it should be enormous when in comparison to the regular Transformers. So yeah, Junkosaurus being this much taller than Megatron and Prime, personally, I think works so much better when in comparison to the scale between Junkosaurus and the likes of Earthrise Optimus Prime. And so, to kind of round off this video, overall, as I said, this guy does look fantastic. I mean, in terms of a display piece, it definitely is a standout. But in terms of enjoyability and playability, I really don't think you're going to get much out of it. Because, as I said, all of the joints really and truly love to pop off. You know, I don't think this guy was intended to be a combiner, which is why, in terms of structure, he does feel like something which was perhaps on the cutting room floor of the old Combiner Wars line. So, yeah, it's kind of a shame. I mean, considering the way this guy is put together, I guess technically you could perhaps come up with your own stronger combined form you know as I mentioned right at the very beginning of this video merely take this tutorial as a rough guide on how to assemble Junkosaurus as I'm pretty certain you guys could maybe come up with something a little more creative than what I have here I'd love to get your thoughts on this guy down in the comment section below will you guys ever be assembling Junkosaurus and if you will are there any changes that you would make to this particular configuration that I showcased in today's video sound off below and until my next video I'll see you then Thanks for watching.